today I'm going to be showing you guys the brand new ice map coming to Squad Busters along with the four new awesome modifiers. So some of you guys will already know what the four new modifiers are, but let's quickly recap what they are. So the first modifier coming to Squad Busters is going to be Super Ice Spirits. Now you guys can see on screen here the way that this modifier is going to work is there are going to be a bunch of like big and small ice spirits kind of just roaming around the map randomly. And now when these ice spirits see you, well, they're going to do a little jump animation and well, they're going to try land on you and well, obviously try kill you. Now there aren't just normal ice spirits because there's also gem ice spirits. Ice spirits with like gems on their back that throw gem piles at you. Now I'm going to be honest, if there's an ice spirit that's throwing piles of gems at you, do you even want to kill it? Can't you just like farm it and then just get a bunch of gems? The second modifier and in my opinion, the best modifier coming to squad busters is going to be gem golems. Now this one looks like it's going to be my favorite and the way it works is there's going to be little random warning circles around the map and then a few seconds later, well, gem golems are just going to drop from the sky and then they're going to land. And now when these gem golems land, well, they're just going to drop a bunch of gems around you. Well, that you can then pick up. Now, the thing is, the only thing that makes this mode kind of basic is once the gem golem has landed, he's literally just a normal golem. He'll do his little smashy animation. He'll do his little roll. And then obviously, once you kill him, he's going to drop, well, guess what? A bunch of gems. The third modifier coming to squad busters is going to be gem hot pot. So the way that this modifier works is a random pot of gems will spawn somewhere around the map. It's kind of random. It's not in the very center of spawn. It's literally just random. And then you're going to have to go find the pot of gems. And then once you collect it, well, it's going to be attached to your back. Now, the problem with this modifier is you can probably see on screen here. Well, when you're running around, it's going to drop gems behind you, not in front of you or not with you. So if you're running away from someone, well, you're just going to literally be feeding them a bunch. And I mean a bunch of gems. Now, after a little bit, the gem pot will randomly explode. And then it'll just give you a bunch of gems that will kind of spread out around the map that you can pick up. Now, I'm thinking the strategy for this mode is literally going to be taking a gem pot and then running and hiding, collecting all the gems that it drops and then the gems that it explodes so you can just get ahead of everyone. I feel like that's probably going to be the strategy here. And the last modifier coming to Squad Busters in the brand new ice update is going to be one coin chests. Do I really need to explain how this is going to work? You probably know. The chests are going to cost one coin. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's literally it. All right, so I'm going to show you guys some footage on screen here of the brand new modes, and I'm also going to give you my opinions on them as well. So am I excited for these? Well, yes, of course I am. Now, when are these modes going to come out? So what I do know is on June 24th is going to be when we unlock the three new troops, Dr. T, the Ice Wizard, and Jesse. So that's when we're unlocking three new ice troops. We're also going to unlock the new ice event, which is pretty much a mode where you complete a bunch of challenges in the ice map to unlock the brand new troops for free. Literally no money. So I know a lot of people complaining that getting new troops is expensive and annoying and rare. Well, with this new event, you're going to just get them for pretty much free. And then after seven days, the ice event is going to end and then everybody will finally unlock the ice world at level 90 in the squad league. So yeah, that is when these four new modifiers are probably going to be coming out when the new ice map officially comes out, which will be one week after June 24th. So it's going to be in the July season pretty much. Now, what do I think of these modifiers? Well, I think they're amazing. I think the ice spirit mode is a lot of fun. I think the gem golems mode is going to be a lot of fun. I think gem hot pot is going to be a lot of fun. The only modifier that I think I'm not going to like is probably one coin chest. And the reason for that is because once you unlock a chest, well, the chest obviously goes into cooldown, meaning there's not going to be many chests around the map. It's literally going to be a race for chests. Now, also with the new ice map, there's going to be a lot of new things coming, such as new monsters and new mechanics. So one of the mechanics that are going to be coming out is you see these little like ice rings around the map. Well, those are actually going to be slippery. So when you're running around on them, it's going to kind of slip you around. So a bit of a new mechanic come into the game. Also, if you shoot things like a blue box or a troop, they're also going to slide around as long as they're on the ice. There's also going to be a bunch, and I mean a bunch of new monsters. We're going to be getting like ice skeletons. We're going to be getting like a blue yeti, which looks super duper cool. We're also going to be getting the snow golem, and we're also going to be getting little snowmen. These aren't going to be monsters that attack you. They're just going to be things that you can kill if you want, which honestly is so cool. A bunch of things like that are amazing. There's also going to be things like ice guards, ice spirits. It's just a bunch of ice stuff, obviously. Now, when these updates go live, you already know I'm going to make videos on them. I'm going to buy everything that physically comes out. And we're going to be maxing them out and showing you all the top tier gameplay. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can see, well, all the maxed out gameplay that, well, I'm going to be doing. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my last video. It's on screen here. It's the video where I use Dynamite, which is actually a decent troop now because it got buffed, if you didn't know.